So I wanted to start in my favorite section of the house. So here I made these um, in a video a couple months ago when the IOD Christmas released. And if you know me, I'm obsessed with raccoons. So what else could I have at Christmas other than the Christmas raccoons out? And those will probably stay out all year to be honest because they're not really too Christmassy other than some of the little berries that are on there. But... So, moving on to my favorite little area, or one of my favorite little areas in the house. Um, so, I got this cabinet, the secretary cabinet from my granddad when he passed. I got this in a buffet that you'll see that I keep my um, Christmas village on. So, none of this is actually vintage except um, the ornaments that are on the tree. They are actually antique. They are from the 20s, I believe. Um... I forgot the name of them, but I can put that in the comments after I'll have to look it back up. But I have the um, Blue Willow uh, China that I have. It was actually my husband's grandparents. They collected it and everything, and then they passed it down to me and him. And I do not use this. This is like my, what you call your good China. You find China that you don't want to use. Um... So I keep it in here and just keep it from the dogs and stuff because they're bad about breaking certain stuff <laughs> if they get too wound up. And you'll see them in the video. Um, so here I got this tree from Hobby Lobby and then I made the actual base here in a video. Um, most of these little signs come from Hobby Lobby and Walmart. My bottle trees come from Walmart and Hobby Lobby. Um, this was actually a Target tinsel tree. And then I wanted it because I had bought these little antique ornaments um, at a antique store in Athens, Alabama. And that that is, I'll have to get the name of that place, but it was awesome. It's probably one of the best ones I've ever been to. And then I have this little sign that I got from Dollar Store, I believe. Yeah. And then my Hobby Lobby tree. And then my vintage scale. This is probably one of my favorite scales because it's the teal colored. And then my little vintage themed deer that I love. So here I just have a bunch of random things that were passed down in my family or that my granddaddy had when he was like reselling and stuff. So some of these old cookbooks were actually my mom's. And when she passed away, I actually inherited these. And she was a very, very, very good cook. So a lot of this stuff is hers, like that. Um, that sifter I actually got from her. This was my great-great-grandmother's. The biscuit cutter was my great-grandmother's. I actually thrifted the nativity scene. Um, I thrifted this little Pyrex. Um, it's like a for a ball jar. I thrifted that. Um, and several of these other little pieces I've thrifted, but all of the mason jars and the milk bottles up there are actually from my granddaddy, which he's in that picture right there, because a lot of this stuff came from him. Um, and my Granny Barker, which was his mother, uh, made that little picture, and I painted a frame to go with it. Um, and she actually made this down here too, which this is one of my favorite little pictures. It stays out all year round. I just had to put the nativity scene out somewhere. And that was kind of the only place I really had room. And what about this little bitty skillet, y'all? Is that not adorable? That was actually my great-great-grandmother's too. Um, I collect a lot of these um, milk bottles. So he had these. And he had... Uh, these are the tags that he used when he would sell. So... Everything that I got from him probably had a tag on it most of the time. Even like growing up, I would go and we would always check out his basement. It's like a 1,500 square foot basement that he had filled, piled with stuff. It was organized, believe it or not. But I would go and he would let me pick out stuff. He would always have to show me something new that he got and all kinds of stuff like that. So these are very special to me and they'll never go anywhere. Um, I actually thrifted this. I didn't even take the tag off of it for $1.99.
Um, let's see. And then my Pioneer Woman. I went through a big Pioneer Woman phase, and I still love her. Um, but I really love the dog stuff. I'm obsessed with animals. And my dad actually made me that cutting board. He cut some different pieces of wood. And he got this new toy, a planer and stuff. And he made that for me. And then my stepmom actually did the design on there for me. Um, I'm That's pretty priceless to me, too. It's one of my favorite pieces I have. Um, and then I thrifted this... Um, beautiful 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 picture and then i just got the floral the other day at the um it's a place in lewisburg called uh the old rink emporium it's an old skating ring and she does home decor there so for my other favorite section is my what you would call my dining area we have an open floor plan so my dad made my table for me it's out of hickory is the top and then we took two Singer sewing machine bases and um, put that on the bottom. So I took the top of an old um, mirror that came off of an old dresser. It had broke, fell apart, so I had to kind of rig the inside of it. But I had this um, picture of Santa that I had thrifted. And I was like, well, that color match is perfect. I used some milk paint for the outside because I wanted that chippy look of it and then I know well I just now noticed that my anchor my <laughs> arches are not even I'll have to fix that but um I just like the whole look of this I love the the vintage Santa my arches and everything and then I had to throw in some shiny brights and some other um little ornaments that I've kind of thrifted like the strawberry was a different one some of these my mom had, um, like she had the snowman, just different thing like that. And um, I actually got that dobo for a wedding gift. Um, this was from Hobby Lobby. And then I actually got these at a store on our square in Fayetteville. They're like mercury glass looking. Um, they're really heavy, but I absolutely love those. And then I just needed some, and I have several of these little milk, like creamer things. There are probably about seven or eight of those around the house um, year-round. I took them out for Christmas. but So here's another little bottle. You can see it has Pappy's price tag on it. I have several of those blue bottles that he had. Um, I was playing around one night and just stuck that in there and hot glued it. And then I got these in Gatlinburg in the Smoky Mountains at a thrift store. Those stay out all year round, and I just kind of change out my little, um, it's like a, a banner type thing, a garland that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I change it out with seasons. And, of course, my husband's a deer hunter, so I have to have that out all year round so we keep, so he can look out our back porch, because we own 14 acres that go all the way down to that corner, and then a little bit over, so... He hunts. You can literally hunt off our back deck. So, on to... I guess we'll just go to the kitchen. It's kind of funky in here. You know, you got the non-aesthetic uh, refrigerator. And then I keep my KitchenAid mixer out all year. And then my Pioneer Woman cookbook, of course. You got to have that. My TSC Crocs, because I'm not that great at finding Crocs out in the wild yet. One day, I will find them. So, I got tired of my cabinets and stuff not acting right down here. So, uh, my mother-in-law actually sewed me up my curtains. And I attached the curtain rod down there. And I made my curtains for the top there. And then I thrifted that farmer's market sign. So, all of these up here, my granddaddy had bought me the ball set of things up there. Um, and all these cake plates were my mom's. She collected glassware a lot. And then, we'll go to the other section of the house. Like I told you, it's all open floor plan. And again, this is not going to be everybody's style. And I know it probably could have been fancier and everything, but this is what I like and how I wanted to decorate it. So, and it's, 
most of everything has been handed down to me or I have thrifted. And that's what I'm trying to continue to do and like build up my vintage and antique Christmas stuff and do like a big thing next year. So all this year you'll see, I'll try to have some videos out of that. So um, this actually come from Goodwill. I found that. And these Crocs I actually got from what who I call my adopted grandparents. They um, had them in her mother's house. And they were broke, so nobody wanted them. So I just took them, and they've been here for the last two years, and I love the way they look, and they hold stuff. Um, the year, like, during the summer, they have my umbrellas and stuff in them. And this time, I just store my wrapping paper, because I've always got packages coming in, so I'm constantly having to wrap stuff. So this is a huge old rolling pin that my granddad had above his fireplace. Don't ask me why. But I uh, got that when he passed away. So I have, this is probably one of my favorite pieces in my house is my pie safe. I got that for $100 off a girl that I grew up with. Um, and my sign, my little banner is from Walmart. This I actually thrifted the other day. I paid like $1.99 for it. It's a little vintage Santa hanger. Um, this was a... I believe somebody made that, but I've just thrifted it too. It's still got the tag on it. Um, but I loved it, and I just put a little bottle brush tree in it. And I have several of these glass um, rolling pins, and I have several different colors of them. I'll do a like a spring or New Year's home tour if this one goes over well, if you like this kind of stuff. Um, and I thrifted these old Santa mugs. I have three of them and then I did buy some new ones um this is actually Hobby Lobby um this was a little vintage Santa this one is Walmart actually this year so this is another little favorite area I actually those two um scales my mother-in-law bought me the one on the left and I've always wanted one, and I ended up finding four in a year. So, they're all around the house, and those are something I'll never get rid of. They're my favorite. Um, the kettle down here is actually my great-great-grandmother's. And my granddad actually made me the sewing, out of the sewing table here. He made me this little, um, like, entryway table type thing. And it stays out all year round. It's very sentimental to me. He passed away. About four years ago. So most of the stuff in my house. He's either made me. My dad's made. Or was handed down in that side of the family. Um, these Bibles are family Bibles. Um, I have a lot of them in my house. I actually thrifted a set of those. They're there. And this was actually on my mom and dad's tree. When they were married. So I have that out. Um, I got the three signs from Timu. I needed some. I thought they were bigger. I didn't really look at the size, but only paid like $4 a piece for them. So they were kind of worth the money. And um, these were actually my shoes when I was a baby. Uh, I thought they were older than that. I'm only 30 and they looked older, but I thought they were really cute. And they could have been older when I had them, but they have my name on them there. These bottles I actually got from my granddad's. Um, I love the blue glass. It's my favorite. The barn door, the story behind that was actually my best friend's mom had bought her childhood home. And these come out of the barn that they knocked down. And I got both of the doors. And this is something I'll never get rid of. It's very sentimental to me. Um, it means a lot that it came from her. And it's even got the little buckle on it, if you can, or the door handle on it, not buckle, the door handle. And I thought that was cool, and the original hinges. So, now to one of my favorite pieces is my buffet. Um, it's actually, my granddad had it, it's been in our family for a really long time. And it's, it's probably my favorite. I wish I could find a mantle that was the tiger oak like this. It's my favorite. And all of the houses down here are actually from my grandmother she collected them for a while and I'm wanting to do like a really big scene I don't really do like a super elaborate type of scene I just like the lights and the little 
the look of it. And then these are all Pioneer Woman. My husband actually gets me a new one every year. <laughs> That's kind of our little thing for my anniversary slash birthday gift. And then this churn I got from my grandmother. And then all these bottles or mason jars and stuff are actually from my granddad's. They're just extra ones I don't have anywhere to put right now. So I just threw them in that um, milk crate. I actually got that in the Smokies. And I keep it out all year round. So to this little corner. Oops, sorry for the focus guys. These are all shells that I have collected when we go to the beach somewhere. Um, a lot of them are from when I was with my mom. Like me and my mom would go. And my husband actually got me this little Elvis thing. Uh, sorry this is kind of not very aesthetically pleasing but it's just something that stays out all year round so to my bathroom i ordered me this cute little um bathroom the blah, blah, blah. i'll get it out here in a minute this cute shower curtain here so here i got my shower curtain i ordered that off amazon um i keep the dog out all year round i just like the way it looks and I actually Timu'd this sign too. It says don't forget to wipe. I thought that was really cute. So into the living room. Um, I've got this old rocking chair that was my great great grandmother's. And I got my, my grandmother actually made me this blanket. She crocheted it. And then um, my pillowcases I actually got from... I think Amazon. It was a pack of four for like, I think 20 bucks is what I pay for them. So I have this little table that I made and everything. I thought that was. And here I have the table that I made and I have it backwards. I absolutely love it. My dog toys and my little chicken basket. As you can have there's little beanie weenie. Can you say hi? She's chewing on her bone. And this is my deaf dog. She sleeps all the time. She don't even know anything's going on. Or she wouldn't know if anybody was even in the house. So, um, here, it's kind of hard to know, like, what to do with this section. So, I just used what I had. Um, I didn't really buy anything extra this year other than I bought some more shiny brights. But you see, um, I found a really good deal on them. So, my trees I actually got from Hobby Lobby and Walmart. And my deer from Walmart. And then I made my shiny bright sign. I kind of went off of um, L&J Goods. I absolutely love her. She's probably one of my favorite creators. Um, I love all of her designs that she does. And that was like the perfect idea. And I already had the IOD stamps. And I had the perfect size little frame that I had. So it worked out great. Um, I have a Big Ben clock that I thrifted over here. Um, and just random, like, older pictures. Black and white pictures of my grandparents. Um, this is my dad's parents. Um, that's my granny and granddad. That's his truck. The farm truck. There's another picture of my granddaddy. That's the one that did all the thrifting. And there's my granny. And then I thrifted these little mice the other day. And then I have several other little old pictures of my grandparents. And then my granny actually bought this for me for Hobby Lobby. And um, I have several shiny brights that I keep in the packaging for now. And then these are actually Polish. And they are hand painted. Those will... I don't, I can't put a lot of these on the trees because of the dogs. Um, they can get a little bit wild. Hey, Beanie Weenie. What are you doing? Can you say hi? Are you being snooping? <laughs> so, my tree's a little bit wild. Um, I actually got my light. It looks like a vintage, uh, my topper. I got it at Walmart this year. And I did buy some of the shiny bright, um, knockoffs from Walmart this year and I just put different picks that I had in there and just kind of went for an eclectic tree this year different than I normally do 
Um, I made my picture last year out of some decoupage paper and a frame I thrifted. And I got the two blow molds, the dog and the deer from Walmart. I have all my four dogs and then me and my husband. And then we actually got this from... I made the... Um, so my fireplace my mantle I actually took some old I tore down a barn and I took the wood that we had gotten from this little shed barn thing and I put it at the back of it and then we attached it to the wall I painted it in apothecary and then I, but then I whacked, whacked, whacked. this is my last little um, vignette it's just my cookbooks I've got um, some random things in a little J dot bowl and my favorite cookbooks It's Kelsey with K Current Furniture Company, and I just wanted to wish y'all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, thanks for watching my videos this year. Um, this is a big step for me for creating a YouTube, and I'm so overwhelmed with the support and everything from you guys. Um, I hope you liked my video this week. I'm sorry it's a little late. I've been working on it for about a week, uh, trying to get it done in between trying to get ready for Christmas and all that stuff so I'm kind of just relaxing today um it's Christmas Eve uh so next year I'm hoping to do a whole lot more videos and a lot more um content different content for you guys um but I just wanted to get on here and tell you Happy New Year and Merry Christmas and I hope you get everything you want all right God bless